Ghana's e-transform project is training tomorrow's leaders. When you are in a startup, the ideas that come are a lot, but you can't implement all of them because some of them may not be feasible, some of them you may not have the resources to pursue. But sitting through the e-transform project, we're able to then pick out what is potentially feasible. So that set us ahead because without that, it would likely have taken us much longer to reach the point where we can say that, okay, this is what works for us. Ghana has long served as a hub for cables linking Africa and Europe with impressive digital infrastructure. Yet, not enough people were benefiting from this broadband for education, health and well-being. With the support of the World Bank Digital Economy for Africa initiative, Ghana identified the need to support digital entrepreneurship that has benefited more than 9,000 people at Ghana Tech Lab, Ghana Innovation Hub and Kumasi Business Incubator. The e-transform project is a Government of Ghana initiative with World Bank sponsorship to ensure that all players in the ICT space have uh, equal access to facilities that are available in the ICT space of Ghana. Importantly, we are supporting Ghana Tech Lab, Ghana Innovation Hub, and Kumasi Business Incubator so that we can deepen the innovation ecosystem for the youth to have digital skills, their entrepreneurship skills to be developed so that they can work for themselves instead of relying solely on government for employable skills. The support that we have received from Innovation Hub is technology. They have provided us with what we need to do as a business. Through their mentorship programs, organizing workshops, they've been able to help us to transform our business from just the local ways of doing things to we now have the Instagram platform, we even have a means of tracking the international exports and stuff. The Hub has supported my business from the idea stage to the market stage and then the product development stages. Consultants come in to provide business advisory services on how to do product development, how to test the market and see whether we will get a favorable response. We grew in confidence after we left the hub and we knew um, we were ready um, for the market, we were ready for investors. It's been a great blessing and really appreciate them for that. The Digital Economy for Africa is an umbrella initiative that aims to ensure that every individual, business and government of Africa will be digitally enabled by 2030. One of the ways that Ghana can close the digital divide is to ensure that connectivity becomes cheaper. Secondly, a university curriculum must change to reflect the future of work. To bridge that gap, let's look at our environment and proffer ideas that will solve the Ghanaian and African problem. And I think we will get there. Ghana is showing leadership in the region by boosting skills and increasing human capital in the digital space. These young leaders are the future of Ghana. They are sharing their knowledge, bringing digital access to their peers, colleagues and students.